If you are going to flush and fill the coolant, you will need a proper vacuum tool to refill the system. You cannot just pour coolant into the reservoir. This will not fill the system and will damage it if you try and run the vehicle this way. We use the Schwaben coolant refill tool with great success, Blue Arrow. You will also need a compressor and line to connect to the vacuum tool, Red Arrow. The coolant reservoir is located under the trim panel on the right side of the engine compartment. You can see the fill cap, red arrow, and the level locator, blue arrow, through the panel. Release the push-pull pins and remove the trim panel. There is a cut out in the panel, red arrow, so you can remove it without removing the hood shock. Remove the cap, red arrow, and open the bleeder valve, blue arrow. Find the right adapter in your kit to make a complete seal between the reservoir and the vacuum tool. Make sure that you have at least 3 gallons of coolant and distilled water when performing this job. Do not use tap water as it contains minerals that are not healthy for your engine. Adjust the mixture of the coolant and distilled water depending on your climate and driving conditions. Place the tool in the reservoir and attach the compressor line to the tool, green arrow. Have the drain tube run to a catch bucket, blue arrow. It is first going to drain all of the remaining coolant out, so have a large enough bucket. Run the fill line to the fill bucket with your new coolant. Make sure the hose is at the bottom. You do not want to run out of coolant. If you let air into the system, you will have to drain it and start over. Run the compressor and open all the valves. This will have enough pressure to draw the new coolant into the tool and eliminate air in that line. Close the fill line valve. Leave open the compressor and evacuation line. This will draw all the remaining fluid from the system. When all the fluid is removed, you should see around 20 pounds of pressure on your gauge. Close both compressor line and the evacuation line. With both lines closed, the system should hold vacuum. Leave everything for five minutes and make sure it is holding vacuum. If it doesn't hold vacuum, you have a leak somewhere. Start by checking the tool to the reservoir connection. If everything is good, open the fill line. When the coolant has stopped being drawn into the reservoir and there is no pressure left in the system, remove the tool. The reservoir should be full to between the high and low marks on the reservoir. Leave the bleed valve open and start the engine. Check for leaks and once any air pockets have circulated out of the system, top up the coolant to the proper level. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and check out another video in this series.